Hello there, and thanks for joining me once again at my tying bench. It's been a while since I put out a video, so I figured it's time I put one out for you. And I'm going to tie up a simple little caddis fly pattern that I tie. It's just a little peacock body caddis. And it's just simply the peacock curl body, a little grizzly hackle on the front, and some bleached elk hair for the wing. And I'm tying it on a size 16. I usually tie it 16 and smaller, so I'll go on the big side for you. So I'll get this little guy a device here, fresh hook in and we'll get started. And I have a standard dry hook here on size 16. I'll get that locked down in the vise. Okay, there we go. And the thread I'm using Danville 6 Flymaster Flymaster in a brownish color here. So we're going to start about two eye lengths behind the eye and just get a thread base down towards the bend. Okay, and we'll snip off our tag there. Wrap back a little farther, then come ahead a few wraps and stop your thread. Now, I have three strands peacock curl. Three is plenty for this size hook here, and I'm just going to get those lined up and trim off the uh, brittle ends. And I'm going to catch those in here right on my side, right on the top, and wrap back to where we left our thread at the bend. And I'm going to form a little small loop, a little dubbing loop. So I'm going to make a peacock rope like I always do when I'm working with peacock curl bodies. Okay, I'll come up and lock that loop in. Then we'll wrap forward to where we want to tie our body off and stop our thread there. So I'll grab the hurl in the thread loop and we'll twist that up with my hackle pliers here. Give it a few twists and before I begin to wrap that body little dab of glue on the shank just like so then we'll begin to form the body here on this little guy start to wrap him up and twist that rope a little bit as I go just to keep it nice and tight okay here we go let's wrap forward it's not much of a body on this little guy it's a short little body and we'll tie off right there and make sure that's in there snug with some good snug wraps all right then we'll trim that off just the hurl slip broke off that's no worries i already had it locked in there so now next step is the wing and i have a little bit of bleached elk in my stacker here i'm just gonna tap that a bit and even the ends up pull those out and we'll Bring those to the top of the hook here. And you don't want too thick of a wing on this little guy. You just remember it's only a size 16, so you don't want to put try to put too heavy a wing on. And I'll come back a little ways past the bend. I'm going to measure that up so then I know where I want to cut it. And then I'm going to bring it down on top. Tie it down. Wrap back with some soft wraps first, just like so. There's our wing. Then I'm going to wrap down through those butt ends because we're going to wrap a hackle there on the front. If there's any few stray fibers, just trim them out. Alright. That's fine. That looks pretty good. i got a couple on my side I want to trim out. Okay, so our last step is just simply wrap a size 16. I've got a size 16 grizzly saddle dry hackle here. We'll just tie this guy in. Right on top here in front of our wing. Just like so. And we'll bind down that stem nice and tight with some good tight wraps. Okay. There we go. That looks good. Okay. Now we're just simply going to take our hackle. Begin to wind that on. And probably three wraps most of the time. Sometimes four. Okay, wrap that in there nice and snug. Just like so. Okay, so we can get one more on this little guy this time around. Okay, we'll come up, tie him off. And a couple wraps in the front. 
come in and give them a little snip just like so and if you got any wayward fibers just give them a little trimming away from the eye of the hook okay that looks good so I'm going to come in with my half hitch tool here and do a half hitch knot and then a whip finish okay snug that down now bring my whip finisher in and we'll do three or four turn whip finish and he's good to go Just hold it nice and tight on that trim the thread there we have it another size 16 peacock caddis very simple little dry pattern not a lot to it but like a lot of patterns it's simple but it's a fish catcher that's the most important thing so there we have it all that's left is uh, a little bit of head cement one little drop on those thread wraps and he's good to go there we go so there we are folks pretty simple tie but an effective little dry fly pattern so I hope you'll tie some of these little guys up and add them to your box definitely a good little fly to have in the summer months yeah, it's uh, easy but effective little fly I'll see if I can get a close up here for you a little bit closer view do a little 360 here not a lot to it and you can also change up the uh, hackle if you want I've tied them with the uh, brown hackle blue dun hackle black it doesn't seem to affect its catching ability it still seemed to work fairly well so anyways like always I want to thank you all so much for watching and uh, if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and hit that good old subscribe button appreciate that a great deal and until next time folks happy tying out there and I shall see you again soon so long for now